Hello, this is Jorge Anito Jr. and this is my top five favorite decks for tabled use. Um, whether it be card games, uh, close-up magic, which more than likely is going to have some kind of close-up pad. Um, any, any, any way in which you could use the cards from a table position, these are my top five decks. Top five favorite decks for tabled use. And I, before we start that, I want to give one honorable mention to the stud playing cards by USPCC. Uh, these cards, I believe, are the cheapest cards that United States Playing Card Company makes. They're a little thicker than like your average bicycle cards. Um, I think they're made on their casino stock. I'm not sure. I'd say they just about have to be because these cards are super thick and snappy, which makes for a really nice... Um, which uh, makes a really nice makes for a really nice deck for tabled use, and uh, so anyway, these are uh, these are amazing cards. They put you in the mind of bees, just like the thickness and and tally hoes. That that would be like what I would compare them to. Uh, you can find them at Walgreens for like three dollars, and they're specifically made for Walgreens. They quit making them for a while, and then they, they brought them back because people loved them so much. I heard about them on Magic Orthodoxy, and uh, so yeah, honorable mention. It's a cheap deck. They work really nice, and United States Playing Card Company always makes really nice cards. Coming in at number five is the B Casino Cards. Uh, red or uh, red or uh, blue. These cards are are nice because they're borderless. So ideally, you want a borderless deck uh, for table tricks because it it hides discrepancies just a little bit easier. I mean, they handle really nice, and uh, yeah, for table use, I bees is uh, probably one of my all time favorites for sure. So we have the red deck and the blue deck. Either one, it doesn't matter. The, these are just really classic. And just the border, the borderless back design just has a real elegant look to it. So bees coming in at number five. Coming in at number four, bicycle playing cards. These are the auto bike uh, number one designs. Yeah, auto bike number one. The reason I chose these is because I don't know why, but these cards are exceptionally smooth. I mean, they handle so well. I don't know if they're double crushed or what they are, but these cards are absolutely amazing. They handle really nice. Uh, you can get them at Walmart. They are phenomenal. Any bicycle playing cards is going to be sweet. And uh, the auto bikes, I don't know if it's the ink they use. Let me show you one thing real quick. They have this really cool retro design. Like these pips and indices, they, they're really small. But look at the fa the faces on these uh, court cards. Let's see if I can... That's the Queen of Hearts. They just have this olden look to them, this really old feel to them. Like you're playing with a deck of cards from like the 1920s or something. It is... Uh, just really neat, but I don't know, like I said, if it's the type of ink they use or what, but these cards, for whatever reason, they just handle really nice in the hands, but even more so uh, for tabled use. Coming in at number three is another deck of Bs. These are the 1902 Club Special Erdnays. Uh Dan and Dave, I believe, had a hand in making these. These are the Acorn Backs. They have the green ones, um, but I've heard a lot of reviews that say the blue ones actually handle better, uh, handle a little bit better. Uh, I'm not sure why, uh, but anyway, these, and I think I heard a sod on 52 cards say this, and it really piqued my interest, so I went ahead and got a deck, but um, he was talking about the back design, how it's like a mixture between borderless and border. You could see that they kind of have a border, but yet they look like they're borderless. I mean, it, it you could utilize them in table tricks, and it's going to hide some discrepancies. I mean, it... Anyway, 
The back design is these little, I think it's called the acorn back design. They're little hands, which are illustrations from the um, expert at the card table by S.W. Erdenay's. So this deck is like an ode to him. But these cards just handle, they just handle really nice. I mean, you could do table uh, pharaohs. I think that's a table pharaoh. I'm not sure what that is. I've seen Daniel Madison do that before. And then I taught myself how to do it. Really don't know, but these cards are phenomenal. One of the things I'll just say real quick that I that I love about these cards, they have the arcane um, design, but the Jokers is what I'm looking for because I want to. The King of Spades is going to be David Blaine. This is what the Joker, the Jokers look like. It's identical Jokers except for the cards on the table are different. Um, so yeah. It's a really pretty Ace of Spades, and that's the other Joker. Just a, it's a great deck of cards. Handles really, really nice. Number three, the B1902 Club Special Erdnays deck. Coming in at number four is the Green Monarchs. This deck has a border, um, you know, but, I mean, the Monarchs are just good for everything. I mean, the, these cards are phenomenal. They handle exceptionally well. I mean, and anybody's gonna, anybody who knows cards is gonna know immediately when you pull out your monarchs. So they're a familiar card, everybody knows them. Um, you know, they handle great in the hands, even more so on the table. They just have that elegance to them. Just a just a one of my go-to decks uh, for tabled stuff for tabled use. Coming in at number one, the Madison Dealers by Illusionist. I mean, you talk about elegance, renown. The these cards, I believe, could be mistaken. I think these are Madison's um, third, the third deck that he created, or his third deck, I should say. They handle really great. They're, they're marked. I mean, look at that. that. That's beautiful. I mean, this is just a solid deck of cards. But yeah, they, they are marked. And so you're going to be able to, from a dealing position, be able to know, I mean, from a comfortable dealing distance, exactly what cards are going out to each um, spot at the card table. And if you're doing tricks, oh, it's, I mean, it just... Makes it even that much easier, especially for predictions. Um, solid, solid deck of cards. So the Madison Dealers coming in at number one. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking it out. These are my top five favorite decks for tabled use. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of uh, you know people that disagree, but those, those are just mine. I'm sure they'll change. But I just want to thank you for tuning in and uh, see you next time.